Okay, this is Mr. Nelson, and you're going to use the spreadsheet to do some calculations and make some graphs from the data of a car accelerating down an incline. You've collected photogate times through photogate A, photogate B, and the total time between photogates A and B as the car traveled these different distances down the track. After you collect that data, you can ask the spreadsheet to calculate the instantaneous velocity at photogate A. Highlight the cell, press equals 0 0.01, divided by time through photogate A, cell A2. Press enter, click on that little blue square in the bottom right corner, pull it down, it'll repeat that calculation for all of those distances. To get the instantaneous velocity at photogate B equals, to start your formula, 0 0.01, the width of the car flag, divided by time B. So click on cell time B, press enter, calculation is done, grab the little square, pull it down to repeat, all the calculations are done, and acceleration formula would be the change in velocity divided by the total time, so press equals, open your parentheses, velocity B minus velocity A, close parentheses, divided by total time AB, press enter, click on that cell, the little blue square, pull it down, repeats the formula for all data. Now highlight column D, above increase decrease decimals until the hundredth place, and you could see we controlled for the starting velocity through photogate A, those are all about the same. Highlight column E, decrease decimals, and you can see if we go to the hundredths place, the velocity through pho 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 photogate B increased as the car went further. So the acceleration that we can calculate down to two sig figs, you will start to see a nice pattern if you round these down to three sig figs, down to two sig figs, they're all about 1.9, so we had a constant acceleration down the incline. Now if you wanted to graph the car's displacement versus time, time being the x variable, the displacement being the y variable, highlight this data, this is the data you have, include the point zero zero, insert this into a chart, check to see that the bottom two boxes in the chart editor setup are selected, column chart is the default you do want to change that. And scroll down so you find scatter plot. Once you look at the scatter plot, you want to customize, start to label your horizontal axes. Uh, is your time in seconds, your vertical axes, 